morning guys I didn't sleep well uh, I don't know why I don't know why my knee hurt I don't I don't know I slept night really nice at uh, Walmart though the night before but I'm out here in 18 Road in Fruit, Colorado I'm not sure if I want to unhook my trailer or not like I said in Wednesday's video I'm just gonna pull off right on the side of her um, people camp here all the time, but I don't know for how long. Is this pull-off considered the BLM land? I'm not sure. I'm so confused out here. I wish the ranger would come by so I can ask him. Um, I tried and washed my solar panels off this morning with some soapy water and dried them really well, and they're still not working. I was just praying to the solar gods that, yes, they'll automatically start charging, but they're not. My battery's on 90%. I mean, the only thing I use it for charge my phone and my tablets. So I downloaded a bunch of stuff um, on all three things. I watched 28 Days Today with Sandra Bullock. What a great movie. It had me crying. I mean, I teared up. Um, I think it was just a reflection of my own addictions and problems I had in the past. Um, but it's a really good movie. If I haven't seen it, I believe it's an older movie. It's called 28 Days. And I watched, binge watched last night Indian Matchmaking. That was pretty cool. I love the Indian culture. Um, I love their clothes, all that stuff. So I plugged my fridge in because it did not feel cold this morning. And I have food in there that I don't want to go bad. Um, it's only taken six watts, but still, my battery's at 90%. So I guess tomorrow, maybe I'll go into town. I'll need to get ice. That's what's in there now is ice, but I don't know why. It's only been there a day and a half. Not even that long. Oh, and Galloway. He's determined to knock everything over. I have a bowl of grapes and these little, I don't know what to call them. They're gluten-free, vegan, little teeny, um, not this big. What am I doing with two hands? They're just little, like, a bagel round. But they're blueberry. They're really good. And he knows it's sitting there on the hitch. But he knows better. So, and then I'm going to take a ride back that way and show you a couple of the campgrounds. And the big camp, the big parking lot. That's for event use and day use only. So Elliot's out. Owen's having a ball just staying outside. He was digging a hole earlier, which he has no idea what to do. Uh, a few months ago, he'd like, try and dig a hole and put his toy next to it. I think he was trying to bury it, but didn't get the concept right. They got to put the toy in the hole. But it, was, but it was cute to watch. So that's about it. I did a deep clean kind of today in my trailer. Um, got my heater back under the bed. I kind of put stuff under there to barricade the cat because he's been getting under there. Right now he's up in a shelf, which both shelves in my bathroom fell twice yesterday. But yeah, I sold my drill. I'm like, I don't need it. I hardly ever use it, and it was too heavy for me, and it's getting old. I've had it 10 years. The Ryobi, the combo set, the drill, and the flashlight, which I've never been able to use the flashlight because the moment I brought it home, my son opened it up, touched the flashlight, the bulb, and it, it broke the bulb. And every time I remembered to pick one up, it was like me sitting here today oh I need a bulb for that flashlight and then I go out to the store and forget so anyway um, I sold it and now I could have used it so it's a little thing that holds brooms I have that on the wall all I did was stick it on the wall because it has a sticky thing on the back and I put my mallet in that and I bungee the dog pen to it so I can use part of the dog pen as a gate for the front door so Owen doesn't jump out or anybody run out on me yeah well that little sticky thing came off so now I could use my drill I'll have to hand screw it in there yeah, I could have used it yesterday to fix the shelves um, yeah it, many uses I could have used yesterday with that damn drill but I want to get like a small impact driver type thing um, just something lightweight and more powerful so uh, that's it for today I'm actually sitting outside in the Sun Debbie if you're watching this I'm out here in the Sun getting some vitamin D it's only, what, 9 o'clock, I think, in the morning? I got up at 5.20, but I was not taking them out because they went out late, like 8.30 last night. So I was hoping that they'd sleep late. Elliot slept late. Violet got up before Elliot did. So, But I'm out here in the sun. It's beautiful right now. I don't know what it's supposed to be today. Um, I have sketchy service here. I'll send, get and send messages if I put my phone in the window. But sometimes that takes a bit. A uh, car's going by. It's still weird to... Talking to camera in front of people. Oh. Hey, stop trying to play with him. Stop that. All right, I gotta go. He's gonna knock Elliot over. Oh, 
and I'll have to upload today's video tomorrow. So that's another reason I have to go to town. I don't feel like going today. I just don't, I don't know. I'm so weirded out by leaving my trailer by itself. Even though I have a tire lock, a coupler lock, it's still, anybody can just come by with a sledgehammer. Um, not giving anybody ideas, but yeah, I don't mind when I'm like with people. Even when they're like, I don't even know them and around me, but just to leave it alone. I mean, town's not like Pahrump right there. It's quite a few miles, but uh, yeah, so I'll let you go again. I threw Ellie in the trailer. Owen wants to play ball. Check out this sky, guys. The size of that cloud up there. Come on, focus. There you go. It's really pretty. Hey, guys. I'm at the Fruta welcome center and um, rest area you're allowed to stay here for four hours so that's it there's no overnight um, parking they have where those trucks are right there to the right that is your sewer dump and water fill they have fresh water and i'm right there and they have a um you get non-memorial here it's pretty impressive you don't realize how big they are until you're right under them yeah, we're gonna walk up here i got owen Hold on, he's behind me. You get all twisted up. All right. And if you park here, um, we're on the other side of here, Super 8. You've got Subway, Wendy's, it's Dairy Queen, Mexican restaurant. I mean, everything's in walking distance. And if you have little kids, it's a dinosaur museum's here. We went years ago when our kids were little, mine and my daughter's, and they had a ball. The favorite thing I liked was the earthquake floor. You stand on it and it simulates an earthquake. That was pretty cool. It's another cloudy day today, but it's getting warm out. This is pretty nice though. So. Let me just take a moment. was in Vietnam. There's Agent Orange now. They have a statue over here. Kind of heartbreaking to know a lot of them didn't come home to have that <clears throat> that reunion with their parents. Inside to the visitor center, there is a, a man. He's been there for years. He is very um, helpful, even when you tell him that you're fine. You're from here. He still insists on giving you information. So I walked out of there with more pamphlets. But there's uh, quite a few hotels here too. I used to work in the La Quinta, right over there. It didn't last long. I just had toe surgery. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. I have an appointment, a phone appointment at three o'clock with a disability. I don't know why. I guess I need to know that I'm still um, still alive. No one's collecting my money. As you guys could smell this cherry tree. It smells so pretty. It looks like snow and all the blossoms start blowing away. All right, I'm probably gonna head back out to the desert tonight. I didn't unhook my trailer. I kept it all hooked up. Um, I got ice. I'm charging my Jackery right now. And I'll charge my phone and everything. Or I might stay in town. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about the wind. I don't know if you can see the prairie dogs out there, but please, whatever you do, don't walk your dogs near them. Um, every year, I don't know, the wind die down. Um, 
they carry fleas and there are people in Colorado that die each year from bubonic plague. So I don't ever walk my dogs if I see that there's prairie dog activity on the side of the road somewhere. I stay away from it. Colorado's a dangerous state. I've said that before. But they were all just running around when I walked over here. There's some that are poking their heads out the hole. There goes one running. They're really cute. When I first moved out here and saw them on the side of the road, they would stand up there. Like, um, if you ever saw that show, what were those little things called? Over in Africa. I gotta figure what they were called. But they collect the sun and they use that throughout the day and the night down in their burrows. It's really weird how their body works like that. I think that's amazing. I wish we were able to do that. I did not know this about Butch Cassidy being in Colorado. All these signs had so much information about Fruit of Colorado. Um, I didn't record talking about them then because it was so windy out. But there was so much on each one of these little placards. I think this was the most I've ever seen in any of the rest areas. So I don't know if you can, you know, want to stop your pause it and take a look at them. But it was really cool. This is a really nice visitor center. But there's no food or anything to buy inside. Check out the park model that's behind me. It's humongous. I mean, I could fit my trailer and truck inside that thing. If you guys don't know what they are, they're the type of trailer that you leave at the campground. It's like your vacation home, your seasonal home. They're not a travel trailer. But it's humongous. It has sliding glass doors on the side of it here. It's huge, so mine looks so tiny right now. Yeah, I'm at Love's for the night. The moon's out. Pilot's packed over there. Take a little Owen here for a walk and he won't pee. He is too worried about sniffing every dog that's been here. Better hope he peed when I didn't see him.